Coach K with the uh, story or message for today. Um, this is for that person have uh, lost a job uh, and looking for another job. Uh, remember that when one door closes, another door opens. Very important that you remember this. Um, it's not the end of the world when you lose a job. It's not the end of the world when you get fired. It's not the end of the world of your bills not getting paid. You know, because life is more important than just bills and jobs and of that nature. Um, so let's make sure we put that on our minds first. Even though I know that, you know, the bills has to be paid. I know things has to be paid and all this stuff and all those things, you know, pile up on you. But at the same time, you have to think for one, how you got yourself in that situation in the beginning to get fired or to get released from that job. So you have to think about that first and make sure that it doesn't happen again, because it's very important to understand that you don't just get fired from a job. You fire yourself. Most people don't understand that. I didn't understand that as a young man. But as I got older, I understand that now, you know, people don't get fired from jobs. People fire themselves from jobs. So we need to know the difference and understand that and make better decisions in the future. So this is for someone today that has lost a job. You know what I'm saying? I know it's probably been two months, three months, or even a year that you haven't found a job yet, maybe even longer. Um, but I can guarantee you I've been there. Been there, done that. Been through situations, you know what I'm saying, like that myself, and you know. And I'm not going to say a lie. It get frustrating. It, 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 it really, you know, had me really challenged, you know. And I'm like, man, I'm going to find a job. Or I'm, I'm, you know, my kids need this. I need food. I need gas and stuff like this. And all those things just start popping up in your head, you know. But I remember one particular time I was looking for a job. I had lost my job, you know. And there was a particular time where that I didn't know where my 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 income was gonna come from. I didn't know what to do, how to do it. I was just my mind was just it was just I don't know where it was, you know. But something inside of me believed that I could find another job. And on top of that, I can find another job, even make it even more money than what I was making. So that's what I start believing in. And that's, it has been, I think it was like three months since I had left the job or actually got fired. Let me rephrase that. I got fired because of some stupid decision as being a young man. But I still believe that, you know, there was another job out there to pay me more. So let me tell you the process that I did to find another job. What I ended up doing is, and I did it without even really knowing it, really thinking about it, knowing how it worked. But I know how it works now. But I didn't know when I applied it and what I did, I didn't know that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, that's how, you know, life works and stuff. But anyway, I actually wrote out and believed that I was going to make like $15,000 more of, of the new job I was going to find. I, I actually believed that I was going to make $15,000 more on my next job. That's what I did. I believed it. So I put a number out there. Put the number out there, you know, and like I said, too, which I'm I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth. Um, I was really looking for a job. But at the same time, I was when I was really searching hard for a job. I mean, really searching hard for a job. Jobs wasn't coming to me. It was nothing was coming to me. But as soon as I let that as, as soon as I let it go, as soon as I let I, I stopped thinking about it, you know, I just said, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. The job appeared. That's right. The job appeared to me. And I got the interview with the job and everything. So I'm bouncing between the stores, the between the store. So I got an interview and everything, you know. And I got hired. So when I got hired, you know, I asked, well, in my interview, I asked for a specific amount of money. You know, and at first, you know, I already knew I had wrote that down, I already wrote out what I want to accomplish, what I want to make, how much money I want to make. And to my knowledge, I actually made fifteen thousand dollars more. They gave me fifteen thousand dollars more than what I was making on my previous job. 
Let me tell you why that happened to me. See, I know I know better now because I'm a I'm a life coach. I specialize in personal development. It's very important that when you want to achieve something, when you really want some in your life, you want to accomplish it. You have to write it out. Once you finish writing it out, you have to believe it here. You have to put it out there, put it out there in the universe. Let it go. But once you write it down, read it every day, believe it every day and go forth, go forth, put in work because stuff just don't happen just out of the blue. You know, but anyway, make sure that you write it out, write it out, do what you need to do, write it out, believe it, read it every day, have faith that it's going to come to you. And again, my name is LeBaron Kennedy. I'm a true believer in uh, law of attraction because it does work. See, I was using the law of attraction when I was, what, 20? How old I was? I think I was like 30 or 28, 29. Didn't even know it. And that's how I ended up making $15,000 more on my next job, you know. And then you know it, but I know how to use it now. And that's why every day I use the law of attraction in ways like that. If I know I want a, a particular thing, I write it out. I believe it in it. I read it. I read it, read it, read it. And next thing you know, I let it go. I stop worrying about it.